Welcome, let us do this question, KCC paper 1, 2007, question number 11. It reads, in 14 years time, a mother will be twice as old as a son. Four years ago, the sum of the ages of 30 years, find how old the mother was when the son was born. We're going to begin off by writing the expression of their ages in these different years. So we have this expression for 14 years. There is an expression for four years, and we are going to add another expression for right now, their ages. So, we have expression for their ages now, then their ages, another expression for their ages four years ago, then another expression for their ages, 14 years years time so we we can let the expression for the age of the mother the mother now to be x years then the age of the son now can let it to be given by y years so therefore Four years ago, the expression of the mother will be given by x minus 4 years. The expression for the son's age four years ago will be given by y minus 4 years. In 14 years' time, since right now the age of the mother is x, the son is y, 14 years' time, the age of the mother will be x plus 14 years. That of the son be y plus 14 years. That is the first thing. The next step, let's start with the first statement. In 14 years time, a mother will be twice as old as a son. So we're going to write that equation like this, eh? The mother, when you take the age of the mother in 14 years' time, that is x plus 14, we divide by the age of the son in 14 years to come, is y plus 14, that should give us 2. Since the mother is twice, will be twice the age of the son in 14 years to come. We can cross multiply these. And we get x plus 14 is given by 2y plus 14. This will give x plus 14 is equals to 2y plus 28. We can simplify this equation. Bringing y to this side, the left hand side, we shall have x minus 2y is equals to, we can take plus 14 to the other side, you get 28 minus 14, which will be 14. So indicate this one as equation number one. Now let's go to the other statement. Four years ago, the sum of the ages was 30 years. So, four years ago, the age of the mother is x minus 4. We add the age of the son, which is y minus 4. That is uh, four years ago. This should give a sum of 30 years. So, this will be x plus y minus 8 is equals to 30, which will give x plus y is equals to take negative 8 to the right hand side and this will give 38 so have this as equation number 2 we are going to solve these two equations we can um, have these two equations the first one is x minus 2y is equals to 14 and the second x plus y is equals to 38. 
we shall solve these two equations simultaneously and you obtain the values of x and y. So we can start by eliminating x. We can eliminate x by subtracting. Uh, we get negative 2y. This will give negative 3y is equals to this is negative 24. So in this case, we get the value of y. y will be given by 8. So we shall get the value of x by substituting. By just picking one of the equations, you can pick one of the equations here. You can, you can pick um, x plus y equation 2. x plus y is given by 38. Knowing that y is equals to 8, substitute. So x plus 8 is equals to 38. So therefore, x will be given by 30. So now we've obtained the values of x and y. So x, this one is given by 30. So right now, the mother is 30 years old. Then the son is uh, eight years old so we can now answer the question find how old the mother was when the son was born so if at this time now the mother is 30 years and the son is eight years definitely means when the son was born we are going to take the age of the mother we subtract the age of the son and this one we shall get 30 minus the age of the sun. This will give us the age of the sun when the, um, the age of the mother when the sun was born. And this will give 22 years. So that is our solution and that is how we're supposed to solve that question.